here I stand. All I need is Jesus. Everything else will fail. See, God will give me heaven, but myself will give me hell. Living well is what I want, but what I want ain't what I need. See, in the hood, so many people got murdered for selling weed. Murdered for selling weed, better believe they on the come up. Brothers are pull them triggers, ain't the hitches just for fun, bro. Too many funerals, too many die before they live. They could have been doctors, now they doctors on how to kill. See, man, it's real. This black on black crime got us bent. We slave of our own, can't no longer blame Willie Lynch. Can't no longer blame mothers for the struggles we perpetrate. And we can only blame ourselves for the choices we keep on making. The commandments that we break and are definitely bona fide. Every time that we sin, we become enemies of God. Mm. Sin feels so good, I be the first one to admit it. But I know this kind of life will keep me trapped once I'm addicted. See, I realize sin sometimes make us unafraid of death. Unafraid of the maker as if we created ourselves. Why must we sympathize in order to satisfy the hearts of men? Worldly accomplishments seek a worldly compliments that we don't need. Like any normal person, we would love to be accepted. But, but we would rather, rather be neglected, neglected rejected for the sake, sake of principle. principle. We didn't come to satisfy you with twisted amusements. Unlike the author of confusion, we don't want to compromise to be recognized just to gain popular favor. We're, We're not, not trying, trying to, to satisfy the hearts of men. We're trying, trying to satisfy the heart of the Savior. We, we refuse, refuse to be moved to shaken. Man. I'm a man, but I was created to be a man of God, so please don't get it mistaken. Like a mountain, we won't budge, and like a volcano, Ain't no, we won't melt. We will never scribble up like bacon as long as we rely on God to be our aid. We can never get played unless we played ourselves. I can't play myself, so you can't play me either. I'm not no PlayStation or no Xbox. I understand that Christ came to set us free, but the devil want to have us twisted and tangled like dreadlocks. Today we come to speak the truth. Truth is, you get all suited up in your suit and tied, tied down by your pride, a sophisticated bribe. You're doing it for the Lord. But, but there's, there's no loyalty in your words. words. Your loyalty is to self. Self made. Self paid. You couldn't have paid a cent if you hadn't paid it all. Riches are promised, but they are you sway. You think you holding your own? Just a handful of air. Yeah, you determined, ride fast, going nowhere. Except the road to destruction. You organized your demise and fell in the real lies. A lie that lie behind the lie. Under the disguise, you just pretended to be a Christian. Church going just to get the attention. All the while claiming the glory for yourself. Take off the nice clothes, remove the fake amen, or do the twisted smile. Blasphemy is what's left. Proclaim itself. As if you put one breath in your lung, held one muscle to a bone, connected one neuron in your brain, S nose to a filament. If you could feel a minute, what's the point of dedicating your whole heart and God ain't feeling it? You feel the space is trying to fill your void. Please tell me, what is it that you love? Saturday mornings, you're a Christian in the church, and when night falls, you a devil in the club. Compromising your relationship, relationship with Jesus. Jesus. For man's sake, see, you loving the way the sin tastes. Now you enjoying the company of kicking it with the enemy's fan base. See, the devil has come down with great wrath, making the whole earth his personal landscape. With the majority of the world in his hands, his purpose and plans is to flatten you down like a pancake and devour you with ease. Making you so affiliated with this world that your prayers are only heard by Satan when you've been down on your knees. Please, somebody tell me, who created this madness. There must be a witness to this mental sickness. Who created this dark passion, fashion and sin? Wearing it like a fashion. See, sometimes I look at sin like a lady friend or a woman that's so attractive. My mind is backwards. Sideways like cartwheels. I'm divided like rivers. I pray I stay in the Lord's will. My heart's filled with a heaven and hell. Sometimes I'm tripping. How can I turn this hell into a heaven? While I'm still living. See, we, we naturally, naturally play to the negative, negative side of who we are. <laughs> Addicted to sin, trapped in this web we in like strings strapped on a guitar. Lord, Lord please, please help, help us. Is, is it God, God that we work Worship when we worship, but have our worship itself become a God? Is it Christ the one we see up in the temples, up in the windows, or just symbols of the devil himself in disguise? I wouldn't be surprised if it is. And if it is, Lord, please forgive us for the way we live. See, hypocrites are no different than cigarettes because they spread like cancer when they kick it with critics with a non biblical interpretation. It seems. Their influence cling to us like weed smoke on the clothes of a smoker. We so called Christians upon this Christian roller coaster. So often forget about Jehovah when the going gets rough. We are the Lord's remnant church. We are Seventh day Adventists, but being a Seventh day Adventist is just not enough. Lord, Lord we, we need, need you now, now because for the self we cannot, cannot trust. trust. So we thrust through the world like a jet in the sky. It's important to understand that half of us are dying to live, and the other half is living to die. Yeah.